Welcome back. So this will be the start of my two drop camper number eight. I've been waiting for Northern Tool to get my trailer in. I ordered it in August. It's just, they said it should be here in a week. They said they just put it on the trailer. So what I'm starting out with is I built this little dolly frame here. And I, uh, I'll give you a close up look at it. I just used some scrap uh, fence pickets and you can see where I just I made me just made a big rectangle on wheels and if you look most of the uh, trailers are in the northern tool trailers are 22 inches tall so taking into account the height of the wheels and the post this is 22 inches right here so that will allow me to roll the trailer off or the box of the camper off onto the trailer and then I just took some old uh, one by eights that I had and ripped those down to use for side rails it doesn't really matter what you use on here as long as it's solid material because by the time you get through building your camper it could be four to six hundred pounds depending on if you have a galley in it or if you don't have a galley now i did get a head start on my wood let's see you can see there's a pile right here on the floor that's all half inch wood there so i'm gonna a uh, customer gave that to me, so I'm that much further ahead on my cost savings. Although the price of lumber is up so high now, it's going to be, it's going to cost considerably more to build another teardrop camper. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use all that for flooring and try to incorporate it where I can. And then cut my cost a little bit. Hopefully we can build this camper for around $2,000 or 1500 to 2000 depending on what parts cost now. All right, so this is the first episode of a DIY teardrop camper. You guys hang in there and hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And then each time I come out with a video, it'll give you a reminder so you can come watch. Thanks for watching.